What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. First, I would like to thank all of you guys out there who've been watching my YouTube channel and subscribing and liking and following me on Instagram. That means a lot to me and I appreciate it. Thank you. If you live a busy life and don't have hours and hours for home cooked meal, then today's recipe is for you. And you don't have to buy expensive cut of meat for this recipe. Today we are making braised beef in Instapot and creamy polenta. If you don't have Instapot, you can still make the recipe. It's just gonna take you a little longer. So let's get started. To make the braised beef, first we are going to brown the meat in the Instapot on saute setting. And for five pounds of meat, I'm going to add one third cup of cooking oil. Here I have three pound chuck roast that I cut in big pieces. And two pound bone marrow, which are four pieces. You can cook this without the bone marrow. Use three to five pound of any meat. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to start putting the meat down. I'm going to put pinch of salt and pepper on each side while I'm browning the meat. I'm going to add three cups of low sodium beef broth. Add two bay leaves. After putting the bay leaves, I put the lid on, close the vent, and change the setting from saute to pressure cooker for 30 minutes. While meat is cooking, we're gonna prepare our vegetables. Here I have turnip and parsnip. If you want, you can use celery and carrot instead. After peeling parsnip, I'm just gonna cut this one inch thick. You can cut these in angle or circle, doesn't matter, whatever is easier. After peeling the parsnip, cut in half and put the flat surface down, makes it easier to work with. Here I have fresh garlic I'm going to chop. You can use garlic powder if you like. This is one tablespoon. Or you can use garlic powder or garlic paste. Next I'm going to cut three shallots. You can dice one red onion if you like. And last but not the least, chop handful of fresh parsley. Once the vegetables are ready, Put three to four inch deep heavy bottom saucepan on medium heat. Once the pan is hot, add two tablespoon of cooking oil, add your garlic, add your chopped shallots or red onions. Cook it for a minute on medium heat. And after a minute, I'm going to add my cut up vegetables, which is turnip and parsnip. I'm going to cook this on medium heat for two to three minutes. After three minutes, when the vegetable starts to turn a little brown, add one small can of crushed tomatoes or three freshly pureed tomatoes. After adding the tomatoes, cover this up for five minutes. It's been 30 minutes for the meat in the Instapot. I'm going to release the pressure. Be careful when you do that. If you cut your meat in smaller sizes and you're using Instapot, you may want to cook this between 20 to 25 minutes. After five minutes, turn the heat down to medium low. Add half a teaspoon of freshly ground dry rosemary. Start adding the cooked meat. Add your parsley and cook it for a minute. Add your beef broth. And since I use a low sodium broth, I'm going to add one tablespoon of beef paste. And now I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of tomato paste. Let this cook uncover for 10 to 15 minutes or till everything is tender. I'm going to get four cups of water boiling. To make polenta, I'm using four cups of water and one cup of cornmeal. Once water comes to boil, add one tablespoon of butter and add one cup of cornmeal. 
I'm going to add quarter cup of Parmesan. After adding quarter cup of Parmesan, add half to one teaspoon of salt. Once it starts to get thicker, just shut the heat off. Guys, polenta is ready. I ended up making homemade red pepper sauce and all I did was I put three red peppers in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. And once they came out, I ran the cold water and peeled the skin off and pureed it with some salt, pepper, and olive oil. And that's it. And look guys, how good braised beef look. You guys know I like spicy, so I did put a couple of dried chilies at the end. It's all ready to eat. Are you guys ready for a taste test? Enjoy it. Mmm. Guys, so good. Guys, since we use Instapot, it took a little bit less than an hour to get everything ready instead of three to four hours. Don't let anybody shame you if you're using quick method to feed your family. Everybody cannot be in the kitchen all day long. Hopefully you guys try this recipe. Let me know how do you like it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.